Hello everybody and welcome. Thank you so much for joining me as I try to show off the best of modern retro gaming. We are with you today again with another Cormon episode and just as it happens, uh, I try to do a little bit of off uh, screen stuff and I get something interesting. I was trying something there and uh, I'll explain what I was my thought process there in just a second um, So I, I went you know tried to level up the muff I had in the last episode And I think the second battle I got into or something like that uh, I ended up finding a um, A potent muffle so now I have a potent muffle so I went and switched back you know switched him with the normal one the normal one went back to the storage and now I have this potent one uh, the thing I was thinking of is since he is such a low level if I can get him really far down here and then maybe uh, fight a high-end um, trainer then he would get up and level quickly uh, what I was thinking that maybe something that could uh could be happening is if i you know my main guy or that first guy is really high level over the area it may keep the um cormon from appearing so that's kind of my thought process was uh, is that if i had that you know really high level in the first air you know the first square then you know none of the lower level core uh cormon in this area would want to attack and i would be able to get through with that mawful um didn't seem to be the case i do have something that um would um what's the word what's the word i want to use uh it's sticky spray i think is what it's called and it makes it so that the um the the wild cormon would not come to you um so i'm i'm or would not appear so i could use that and get back through pretty easily but i'm okay with this i mean i'd like to see stuff i like the battles and i'm truly interested in trying to find something new or, or maybe another battle will um do something different or you know it's, it's a whole open book here and I'm really excited to, to see what these will do. And he's going to use a lot of absorb. And uh, I know. Oh, poison sting. So hopefully I will. You know, I'm going to go ahead and switch him out. As long as he's hitting there, at least right at the beginning. So he doesn't even have to attack, I believe, on the uh, Cormon. If you put him into battle, switch him out, he'll get some experience. So um that's uh you know that that's a way to uh you know be able to you know get him in there get us some experience and be able to you know move on move him up even when he's fighting hard things as long as he's not knocked out he has to be able to go out and that's the the key there is that he has to be able to go out of the area or, uh, you know, he has to be able to be put in first, though. He has to be not knocked out. So you get Nibblegar fought and got 57. Uh, Moffle did not and also got 57. So, um, as long as we can keep Moffle awake, we can keep on doing stuff like that. Um, and just switching out. If it's a low, like, the Swarmies are not very hard. But he's a level eight so wait no we don't want to fight we want to switch him out um and go ahead yeah let's just keep it on nimble gar and i can put it up to you know uh someone else and make it a little bit easier on me but i again i want my characters fairly the same level so hopefully with like this this now that he's a level eight i should get a little bit more experience from the battle so hopefully you know, doing this a little bit and keeping that guy a, um, uh, awake, not knocked out, 
is going to be very helpful, I think. The another interesting thing is if you're poisoned, your Cormon stays poisoned until it's healed or cured of the poison um, or a certain amount of time. Um, so it, he's so that uh, Cormon there is going to stay poisoned. Um, I don't know if running tracks them or gets me through a little bit easier. I don't know. Mm. Yeah, that's I'm not gonna fight those. We're gonna switch those out. We're gonna yeah. See, you can see he's still poisoned, and if he goes out, he will end up getting uh, or has the chance to be hurt by that poison. And there's probably some kind of cake I can use to um, heal that or cure that. But um, wow, that was an easy one. Um, but I'm not gonna worry about it right now. Yeah, see, Moffle's gonna go up pretty quickly if I keep on doing high levels like that and have him right in the beginning. So there's a trainer. So if I could just, yeah, okay, that's no big deal. I'm, no, you know what? I don't think I will heal up. Heal up. I'm gonna go to the next trainer and see what I can do. Um, Squad, send him out. See, the pattern belt or the slither pin definitely could hold its own for a long time. Um, so I'm not too worried about, you know, using, you know, one or two of these at the beginning to be able to, um, I mean, they'll lower their health and their um, HP and SP a little bit. But then again, it's, oh, oh, not quite. I knocked him out there. Um, I'm not sure that's gonna do six, but we can see it's gonna do. Oh, it did sweet There's another 52 I bet Moffle you could also see the uh, I didn't really specifically talk about it, but when you go to The summary I showed this last episode you could actually see the experience points so I need hundred and seven uh, experience points to get to my next level and then 385, if I'm reading this correctly, that's what I, I'm assuming, uh, to get to the next potential awakening. So I'm going to just come down here and try to run through that. There we go. We made it past her last time. I probably should use these stinky ones more often. I'm going to go ahead and fight this guy, but mm, I'm trying to figure out how I want. He's going to have... How many items do I have? I have a combi cake. I could use that on Nimblegar or Beazle. Uh, both would be a good idea. Let's go ahead and use that on Beazle. I don't think we're going to use the other one, though. Um, yeah, I think that's going to be the way I'm going to do it. And then we're going to fight this guy and see what else is around here. Let's go. Oh, you're not a... We're here to take you to Dona Island. The captain and his ship are at the beach. No, I don't want... Okay. Oh, well, I'm kind of confused then. Um, how do I go to the beach? Well, we're going to have to figure that out. Hold on. I assumed he was... Now he does. Okay. The captain thought you might go this way instead. Spruce requested us to take you to Dona Island. The captain and his ship are at the beach. Okay, so I can't go that way. So I'm going to assume it's this way somehow. It's not as bad as I thought, I guess. I assumed it's going to be a lot longer, but it looks like the beach is right there. And I will be able to... Um, let's have a Beazle versus Beazel fight. Um, the beach looks like it's right there, so we'd be able to get on the boat and go a little bit closer than what I thought. I was really worried that it's going to take a long time to get up there. I got stung by... I wonder if, like, he has... If Beazle has a... Um... Defense... Like, an extra defense against... Um... Venom attacks. Like, it's not very... Well, he got poison there, so maybe not. Um... Let's go ahead and use Bite. I want to try to use this... Not use... Ah, we did it. 
uh, not use this stuff. He got 150 experience, which is good. So probably, ooh, precision eye. That's interesting. So that'll probably mean that Mawful got 150 and probably grow to level 10. Nine, okay, only nine, but he's probably pretty close to 10. Let's see. Oh, maybe not. Oh, wait, let's... So the beach is right here, and that's Proto. Let's see, who is... George, I almost caught a nibble gar, but then it bit my fishing rod in half. Okay, I bet you anything that's the captain. Can I go up the beach a little bit? That's kind of cool. Can I like... Oh, no. Okay, I was like, can I keep going? I wonder if he'll give me the option because... Oh, hey there, I'm Captain Derek, the fairy, manor, the fairy man of Donor Island. I was told by Spruce to take two trainers to the island. Since I took a trainer named Dexter, you must be Stingray. Do you see that beauty over there? That's his little speedboat. Just look at her, glistening in the sun. She'll take us across the waves and we'll be at Donor Island before you know it. Are you ready to set sail? Okay, so not yet. Come back to me when you're ready. Okay. So, you know, I'm going to do a little, another little fight here in this grass and see if I can get, um, because it really doesn't matter. Right there, I can go over to Donor Island and hopefully be able to pretty easily get into the, I can have a Slitherpin versus Slitherpin fight now. Um, let's go with Armadillo. Um, hopefully we get there and it's a, it's a heal pretty easily thing. Um, hopefully I'll be able to take him out. Um, but again, like I said, Poison Spring, Slither Pin, and their Absorb is awful, very, uh, difficult to deal with. But it's based on how much damage he does to me, which could be, oh, that was very effective. And that was a cool little animation too. But you better toughen up, man. I want to slice right through you. Here we go. So the Slitherpin fainted pretty easily. He's going to get 114. That means obviously Moffle is. We're pulling up Moffle pretty quickly here. Um, summary. How close is he to level 10? He needs 87. I would like to get him up maybe. Well, we can also see after this battle what it'll take to get to the next one. Oh, a double one. Really difficult. This is going to be a far, hard battle. Um, usually they're a little bit lower, like you can see, but um, um, having two there is going to be a difficult uh, because, again, they get to attack twice when I can only attack once, but hopefully with this absorb and uh, some other things I'll be able to uh, be able to hold off here, hold them off. Yeah, we want to hit the less level. I want to be able to kill one as quick as possible because I would rather have one dead and getting attacked twice than trying to, you know, wail on the uh, stronger one a couple more levels. That hurt. Energy got depleted by three. That's not good. But this orbs, yeah, this uh, absorb is gonna save his life. I like that. I, I love this ability only when I could use it and not when it's used against me. Lightning strike. That is a hard thing, and that lowers my spell or uh, skill points too, which is gonna really hurt my ability to take care of these people. Come on, we could do this. We got one more to do. Yay! He fainted. What is that going to give me? 70? Now, I do not know if Mawful's going to get another 70 from this other one. We'll have to wait and see. And I'm going to have to switch him out. Uh, because we're going to... Um, run out of spell points here. Of course, I can keep on trying to absorb and stay alive. 
That's always an option. Oh, right there is a good time to use... Wait. Can I use that again? I can use it one more time. If I would have known he would have done that, that would have been a good time because then uh, I could have rested and it wouldn't have hurt as badly. Uh, but I should be able to rest pretty good and not get too damaged. I mean, I still have 20, so I don't think it's going to... Oh, he did too. Well, that was very helpful. Let's just absorb him some more. <laughs> I'm going to absorb this little buzzlet up. Okay, one more hit. Oh, lightning strike. Ew! Ouch. One fight. Let's just, yeah, just do the simple poison sting, and that's going to yeah, knock him out pretty easily. Now, that's going to give... Me 80, Slitherpin, but will it give... Oh, Moffle earned another 80. That's good. So he's now level 10. Ooh, and awakened to some of his potential. I, he seems like he's a sand type, which is a new type. Never heard of that type before. Um, but he's like a weasel. So I'm thinking like slippery, fast, and hard hitting, maybe? Um, kind of uh, character. That's what I'm thinking of... of uh, uh, Moffle, so he's a lot closer now to those. So we got Moffle at 10. He's going to be able to come up pretty easily, I think. Um, yes, I am. Anchors away. All right. I hope you didn't get seasick. We just like disappeared. <laughs> we got to the water edge and just faded away. Oh, it's rainy and nasty. But we're at Donor Island now. Here we are, all safe and sound, thanks to my wonderful chip. Hmm, what's that? I don't recognize that ship. Interesting, that's a different one. But I do know that flag. That's the symbol of Umbra Noctis. Them being here can't be good. You better hurry to Nicola and Thomas to operate the Buzzlet Lab in the center of the island. You can probably find them there. Oh, and in case you want to ride back, just let me know. I'll be right here. Okay. Um, are there any things in stuff? Uh, whoa, is, are you a trainer? Oh, oh. I'm on guard duty. You better stay away from our ship. Wow, you're just little nasty pants, aren't you? Woo wee. Okay, so we do got a food and a transporter. I don't want to talk to him right quite yet. I want to heal my um, Hormon up. First of all... Ooh, this one has a second level. What's up in this? Oh, it's an escalator. I love it already. Sweet. Ooh, yeah. Let's just rob these people blind. Ooh, 500 gold? <laughs> yeah. Sweet. That might be the people we need to find. So... But it's a buzzlet. This is not a buzzlet thing, so I don't know. I want to talk to this lady. This uh, this uh, lady outside the counter right here has a little gauntlet on. Um, so I'm curious as to uh, if she is a trainer or not and see if I can fight her. My houndus finally got trained. Try to train after using the trans trait for mater on the upper floor. It was slightly expensive, but very worth it. Ah, no, I'm not going to do it. So let's see. What do we got? There was a reflection in the water. Isn't that absolutely amazing? That is awesome. The detail right there in that reflection and then my little walking is absolutely just fantastic. Awesome. Very, very cool. So there must be a buzzlet lab here somewhere. I bet it's that big thing over there. Just kind of wonder how much the food is over here. Probably pretty expensive. Get in out of the way, Wayne. Get out of the way a little bit. Love, lovely weather. Not really, but okay. No, they're the same. But we get a new. Um, restores fifth. So small, medium. I could buy that. 
50. It does. I'm trying to think of the math here. That's 200 and... A little less than 250%. 250% would be 750. Um, and it does 250% of the damage. So it seems like it's a little less for what you would think. So where's the poison? Increased attack defense... O oh, status. So ice cake, burn, curse, freeze, poison. So a detox cake. That makes sense. Um, but I could actually increase stuff here. That's kind of cool. There's some spinners I can get. And stinky scent is what I was uh, talking about. What is a Lux light? A flashlight bulb which only works for a short period of time. Interesting. I bet we're going to go into a uh, darkness somewhere at some point. I don't want to look around really quickly and then maybe uh, run over to those people because I'd like to see what's... Oh, is this where I found a comic cake? I don't see any high grass though. And I wonder... Oh, those people are the nasty people. Wonder who you are. This cave is now annexed by Umbra Noctis. You can't go in. Okay, well, be mean about it. Oh, ah, can't get there. So it looks like they have this whole little beach patrol thing going on. They're probably not a very nice set of people, is what I would have to say. Who are you? Neat Joe. Deep Blue. I've always dreamed of selling beyond the horizon instead of working in the lab. Anchors away, three sheets to the wind. Maybe one day. Hmm, interesting. That has high voltage. Maybe this is the little... I still think these are the mean people. What are you guys doing way up here? Grunt, I hope we can get our hands on that, our objective before the captain arrives. He'll be so proud. No one is allowed to enter the power tower during official Umbra Knuckles inve investigation. I said, tried to say that way too quickly. Okay, so this is all a numbers of Octus, which I guess is the Lux Luctus Solus. Um, yeah, I don't know, the bad guys, I guess. I got footprints in the sand too. That's so cool. I'm gonna say that. There is. Can you see the power tower over here? Over there, let's observe what it is. It is built as an act as a lightning rod and store the energy from the bolts that hit it. The energy is then transported to all over Velua. The Titan living there bends the weather, guiding thunderstorms to this island. So thanks to Voltgar, we will never run out of energy. But I gotta get the essence of that bolt guard thing, so that's probably going to be my next thing I'm gonna be required to do, is go into that cave or somehow get into that cave. Who are you? Eureka! This item will surely help. Here, take one. Ooh, a velvet cake. I don't even know what that does, but thank you. We're going to raid your fridge here and hopefully maybe find... Oh, an SP cake. Is there anything in your oven? Nope. Can I, like, go to sleep? Oh, I found a phoenix shard hidden under his bed. That's hilarious. Which fruit should I plant? Nah, I'm not going to plant anything. I don't want to plant. What if I could... I got to, like, start looking everywhere then. I was joking around. I thought I'd, like, lay down in the bed. We got a Jubu food in his oven. Hmm. Yeah, I don't want to plant anything. I still don't want to plant anything. I am going to go to this middle thing here. This is the probably the big thing that I'm supposed to go. Just wanted to explore the island a bit first. The Buzzlet Lab, yeah. So let's see. Oh, 
Even with a Umbra Noctis here, we still abide by the rules. You need a lab coat before entering the lab. Grab a spare. One from the wall over there. Well, I can handle that. Give me a lab coat. <laughs> That's too funny. Do I gotta like put it on? I got lab glasses too. Oh, sweet. Am I gonna, there was a place. Where was it? Um, there we go. So I can enable my, <laughs> my lab coat. That's too funny. Oh yeah. I get clothes to change my appearance. That's awesome. They're here. Oh, I thought you were the one of the Noctis Umbra Noctis grunts. They're everywhere at the docks in the thunderous cave and soon here as well. We're no longer safe. Calm down for a moment. Can you tell me what's going on? Yes, you're right. Breathe in. Count to four. My dear partner and colleague, Thomas, I can't reach him anymore. We went into Thunder Thunderous Cave to find a potential buzzlet, a type of Cormon we need to keep up with the energy demands of Valua. But now the Umbra Noctis came here. I'm so worried. Don't worry, I can help. You're a brave trainer, aren't you? If you can get Thomas back here safely, that would mean the world to me. Be careful when you head into Thunder's Cave. It gets very dark when you get deeper into the cave. He's gonna give you. You know what? We have plenty of Lux Light, so take some. Each one only lasts for a little while, though, so make them count. Oh, yeah. You can activate a Lux Light from your inventory. Be quick and good luck. Okay, sweet. Electricity is just particles moving from one place to another. So if I move, am I electricity as well? Uh, no. Anything in here that I could eat and steal? These are probably just electronic. But does this get me into the Thunder's Cave? Oh. Oh. Oh, is this not? Oh. Can I fight these guys? Can I talk to it? Oh, okay. I was a little worried there. Like, is this changed from random encounter? All I gotta do is... Maybe... How do I get into the cave? Can I get into the cave from... Maybe it's around this way. I can push that stick. Can I talk to Buzz Buzzer? Can I push the stick away? Huh. How in the world would I get to... The path seems to... No? Maybe I have to talk to somebody in here. Just trying to figure it out on my own. The electricity gathering at the power plant and transport through the cables to all of the Lua. But did you know there are gases which can be... which can conduct electricity as well? Well, that didn't really help me any. Can I just... Nope. I even, can't even talk to that guy. Hmm. I guess... I mean, there's a cave opening right there, so I kind of, that's kind of why I'm thinking... Can I just push these guys out of the way? Um... Well, let's go back to the cave and see if it'll let me get there with the goggle... the glasses and stuff on. I guess that's the next step, maybe? We can get into the caves. I think we'll probably end the episode there and pick up the caves next time. I'm going in anyway. Oh, oh snap. What level is that? I'm, I'm worried. I, we're left about 12, I think. Ooh, we had this happen another time, and I wonder what the water affects it, how the water affects. We're going to hit him a few times and see. I mean, no reason why not to hit him once or twice. See how much damage to He's going to do quite a bit of damage to me. Um, and then we'll switch him out. Uh, but he's a level 14, which uh, 
is going to be pretty difficult and I'm going to actually pull my slither pin out and see if we, I can absorb him. Um, I don't know if I will be able to out absorb him. Use, he's using poison sting, which is good because then that means I will be able to absorb and he's not reabsorbing the, you know, hits that I just did. So as long as he keeps on using a uh, poisons toughen up, okay, toughen up will work too. Come on, let's absorb my health back, all my health back. It'll slowly, but that 14 probably will raise up a a good um what's this fa um my moffle up pretty well. And it might even raise up my slither pin. Critical hit, sweet! I love those critical hits, but yeah, he's using this poison sting, which is very... That's not what I'd be using all the time with Slitherbin, that's for sure. I got poisoned. Ew! Oh, I got hit. I got hurt now because I'm poisoned. Um, let's go ahead and use that for one. Probably... Oh, now he uses Absorb. Why when I was going to hit him for one and be able to get him knocked out? I don't know if I could take a... Yeah, I knew that was not going to uh, be effective. Um, You know what? I'm going to go try it again and see... Oh, he went back to Poison Struss. If I could just heal him here, he was like healing at his last little bit, I think is what he was doing. Thank you. Sweet. 240 experience wow that's gonna make a big difference in Mawful can you get up to level 12 for that oh tell spin I want Mawful to come back out now I want to see what uh, owned us we're gonna switch oh that looks awesome oh my gosh he looks so cool Electricity type as I was gonna I'm gonna assume but that two-headed with the electricity arcing tail that is just absolutely amazing He's gonna be hard hitting too But this knockout thing hopefully is gonna be able to maybe knock him over one round Boom man That was a 20 damage on that one hit Holy that thing's amazing. That's my best damage dealing ability right now in any of my Coromon. He went straight out. 248. I probably should have put Hondas back at Slitherpin. Oh no, he got it too. Defeated Grunt. Oh man. 215. Ah, I wish I would have got. What's this? I'm warning the others that we have some Lux Solus trainer interfering with our plan. You'll never stop us. Okay, well, I think we're going to heal up. He is now level 11, and he has a Tail Whip, which is cool. I did not want to switch him, but I do want to switch these two because he's now, you know, stronger. I wanted to, like, see the summary of him. Uh, what's that tail whip thing? Tail whip. What does it do? Slap the foe around with a swinging tail for one to three times. Cool. What was the sandball again? 10% of length. 10% chance of lowering. I'm going to disable that. I bet you I'm going to disable thief too. I really don't want that or need it. Uh, hopefully if he can be in a couple of battles here now... Um, that, um, Moff was going to, uh, be able to, you know, come back and be a good level. Well, that's going to be the episode for today. Next episode, we're going to go down into the caves and I hope you enjoyed the episode. I'm having a lot of fun in this game and, uh, I'll see you next time. Bye everybody.